so much and welcome everybody. Let me uh, large, enlarge my, my screen here. And um, so I just want to mention that, you know, I've, I've been watching the chats come in and, you see, and, and, and noticing where everyone's coming from. And we have people from all over the country, you know, uh, from uh, Long Island, Brooklyn, uh, uh, upstate New York. Sid's always here. <laughs> we have uh, uh, from Maine. And, you know, the nice thing about the Zoom class and oh, in Washington and yeah, Oregon, when it gets cold up north, uh, you don't, we don't have to go anywhere to exercise. We can do this from the comfort of our own home, which I think is so super cool. Now, I, I also noticed some of you, you, you mentioned that you're new. This is your first class, which is really cool. This is a great class for a first timer because quite frankly, I don't care whether it's your first day or you've been with me for several years, like some of you have been here several years with me. And there's even some of you that have been my students for uh, many, many years. Uh, so I've been teaching since 2001 and uh, actually started teaching in New York and then I came to Vegas in about 2003 and uh, I've been teaching uh, uh, fitness uh, ever since. Uh, this Qigong class uh, primarily uh, it's all about this Tai Chi Qigong that I've been doing and then I also teach a stretch strength and balance and uh, and uh, a newly formed uh, bone strengthening. Well, about four or five years ago, I did the started uh, doing the bone strengthening. But anyway, um, so when you're doing this class, the key ingredient is make it work for you. Don't overdo the class. You can do the class standing or sitting. Ideally, if you're standing, that's perfect. You you know you want to stand and strengthen the muscles and improve your balance. And, and you need a little strength to uh, be able to have good balance. So this is what that does. And it's a mind-body connection. This is a mind-body class designed to bring your mind into the body. So everything we do, all my direction, all my instruction is designed to bring your mind into the body so you're here with me in the present moment. You're, it's all based on the principle that where your mind goes, that's where your energy is. So if you're thinking about some something else, you're not here usually. You're, you know, the only way to be present is to bring your mind into the body and be here, and that's what it's all about. So we, I say the same things over and over at every class. So whether you've been here from day one or for many years. Uh, you're going to get the same instruction, maybe a little variations, but I also improve uh, each, each class I do. I'm always improving in my instruction. I'm always learning new things, new techniques. And so every class is going to be slightly a little bit different because uh, I certainly give my 100% into what I'm doing. And, and I'm very happy to see all of you doing your 100%. But all you really have to do is show up and the rest kind of unfolds for all of us. So we all show up together and we make this happen. So we're gonna start with three heart opening breaths, palms in front of the abdomen, and inhale, just give it a nice big stretch. Now you're stretching all the way down through the legs, opening the chest, and then exhale. So we bring a lot of oxygen into the body. Through the nose, we inhale, always inhale through the nose. The nose has little hairs that filter out the impurities and exhale through the nose or the mouth, doesn't matter. But always inhale through the nose and stretch through the entire body when we're doing this and exhale. Good. Now with your feet about hip width apart, just throw your arms around from side to side. Look straight ahead. So you're, uh, basically your shoulders are pretty much squared away. They give a little uh, pull to the side and then the arms just follow. So your arms are relaxed, your fingers are relaxed. And when you go to a side, you kind of put uh, bend the knees a little bit, and that pushes you down into a hip. So we put pressure into the hip. Now, when we put pressure into the hip, this opens up the uh, hip area, the tissues all that surround the hip. The reason we do this is to get a, a good, even flow of uh, energy throughout our entire body. So we want to open up the entire body, and it's based on the body's natural ability to heal and restore and repair itself back to its state of perfect health, just as you are absolutely perfect in every way. The body's designed to keep supporting that fact that you're perfect. Now, do the same up and down motion, but we're gonna bring the arms up to shoulder height so the inside palm goes face down, the outside palm goes face up. So it's a mind-body coordination. So, and we go to a side, we're still pushing down into a hip, but we're reaching behind us and the palm goes open. The palm is face down when we're reaching in front and it opens up behind us. 
and we're kind of squishing, squishing the shoulder blade a little bit. And what that does is kind of massage the muscles in the upper part of your back, which is really nice for relieving pain and tightness from trigger points, which is usually caused from thinking too much. <laughs> Cause, you know, thinking causes stress. Uh, I know some thinking can be very enjoyable and pleasant, but there's a lot of thinking that goes on that creates stress in the body. Now, let's widen the step a little bit and reach up high. And let's go to the other side. So stress <laughs> comes from thinking too much, other side, and it tightens up the body. Now we're here to relax the body so we can relieve the stress. One more time each side, lift up high and stretch, other side and stretch. Now come to the center and just bounce the knees and relax the shoulders. Now when you bounce the knees, you're bringing a vibration into the body. This uh, technique is based on a theory called and a book called Brainwave Vibration, written by Grandmaster L. Chi Lee. And based on the principle that you shake the body up, you stimulate the energy throughout the body, and the body has a much better chance of healing and restoring itself. Now they even make machines that you can stand on that will vibrate the body. And it, but you don't have to spend all that money on a vibrating machine. You can just sit here and just bounce the knees a little bit. Okay, unless your knees are really sore and this bothers them, then I recommend you stay away from bouncing the knees. We don't want to do anything to antagonize the uh, soreness, swelling, and inflammation that could already be there. Now just start shaking the palms, shaking the palms. Same time you're still bouncing the knees. We're going to add five things here. We have two going on. We're bouncing the knees, shaking the palms. Number three is wiggle the hips, wiggle the hips. So we're bouncing the knees, shaking the palms, and wiggling the hips. Shoulders are relaxed here. And let's really relax the shoulders by just uh, shimmying the shoulders. Just shim the shoulders as we're bouncing the knees, shaking the palms, wiggling the hips, and shimming the shoulders. And let that bobble the head while we're at it. Now we got five things going. <laughs> just we're all shook up. Just let it relax. Yeah. So you're just uh, coached into relaxing and releasing tension in the body through this wonderful vibration exercise. Uh-huh, it's good to see you all. Uh-huh, <laughs> you're doing very good. I know we all don't have our cameras on, but uh, sometimes I can kind of see you too in just a energy feeling sort of way. And I know you're here giving your best 100%, and I really like that. I like the fact that you show up. <laughs> That's my reason for being. Now just stop and feel the tingling in your fingers. Feel that wonderful tingling. You should feel it really nice. Yeah. That feels so good. Now drop the head down, just relax the neck. We're going to rotate the neck, but actually it's a stretch for the whole body. You're going to stretch all the way down through your legs, but you leave with the chin. So when you inhale, we're going to bring your chin around to the right. I'll go to the left, so I'm on the same side as you. And straighten the knees and lift the chin up, stretching through the abdomen, the lower back. And exhale, kind of softly bend the knees as you come down, just relaxing into this. Again, through the nose, inhale, straighten the knees and just stretch through the whole body. And then exhale, slowly come down and soften the knees. One more time around, then we'll reverse. So through the nose, we inhale on the upswing, just stretching, ribs, and then exhale, come on down. Now let's go the other way when we get to the bottom. So again, inhale, reverse the direction and lifting up through the chin, all the way down through the sternum, and then exhale on the downstroke. Again, through the nose, let's inhale. The whole body gets stretched through the chin, all the way down through the calves, the thighs, and then exhale down. When you get to the bottom, we'll go one more time around. Through the nose, we inhale on the upswing, stretch, and then exhale, come on down. And then just relax and just relax the shoulders and loosen the body up again, just lighten up. All right, now what I want to take you into is just a little bit more stretching. Um, let's work in the neck a little bit more. So drop the right ear to the right shoulder, extend the left arm, and just feel that pull right in here. Now, if you'd like to increase the stretch, this is optional. You can take your left uh, right hand and just kind of pull down and just bend the knees a little bit. Now let's add the body into this. So we inhale, let's straighten the knees and stretch. 
And then exhale, bend the knees and just relax into that stretch for the side of the neck. Again, inhale, come up. And then exhale, come on down, just bringing your whole body into the stretch for the side of the neck. One more time. Inhale, come up. Now when you exhale, just relax out of this <laughs> and release. Now let's bobble the head a little bit. Now let's go to the other side the same way. Left ear, left shoulder, right hand's extended. Again, optionally, you can bring this hand around and just bend the knees here. So when we inhale, let's just straighten the knees and feel the tension in the body. Pull out in this uh, right arm and then exhale, bend the knees, and just relax into that stretch for the side of the neck. Again, through the nose, straighten the knees and exhale. Oh, just relax into that. Feel all that wonderful stretching that's going on that you can't even describe. Again, inhale, straighten the knees. And then exhale, just relax into that stretch. Oh, it feels so good. Now, when you inhale, come up and exhale, relax, and just kind of gently bobble the head a little bit. Just relax the shoulders. All right. Now, let's uh, let's take it to a little bit different. Now, let's put the uh, elbows into our sides and make a tight fist and then bend the knees. Now, feet should be about hip width apart, not too wide. All right, so the knees are bent. So let's, we begin with an inhale and exhale, just relax. Now let's inhale, straighten the knees and exhale, bend the knees and squeeze, pull the thumbs back, keep the elbows tight, then inhale, come up and exhale, come back. Inhale, come up and exhale, that's three, going to 10. Inhale through the nose, always through the nose we inhale and exhale, stretch. Inhale, come up and exhale, pulse, squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, come up and then exhale, that's six. Inhale, come up and exhale, three more. Inhale, come up and exhale, last two. Inhale, come up and exhale, one more. Inhale, come up and exhale, no more. Then inhale up and exhale, lower the palms, and I want you to shake the fingers out. Just let everything get loose, kick the legs out. We're slowly warming up, slowly bringing our heart rate up. So let's bring the elbows up to shoulder height, make a nice tight fist, and then bend the knees. So let's inhale, straighten the knees, and exhale, so we bend the knees, just pull the elbows way straight back, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Then inhale, come up, and exhale, come down. Inhale, come up, and exhale makes three. Inhale, come up, and exhale, that's four. Inhale, come up, and exhale, five more. Inhale, come up, and exhale, that's six. Inhale, come up, and exhale, three more. Inhale, come up and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, come up and exhale, squeeze for one more. Inhale, come up and exhale, squeeze no more. Then inhale up and then exhale. Lower the palms and just shake the fingers. Kick the legs out, relax the body, shift the shoulders a little bit and bobble the head. Loosen everything right back up. Now let's uh, work on the legs a little bit. Uh, bring your feet maybe a little bit less than shoulder width apart if you can. We're actually gonna, it's a, like a, rust, a waist rotation, but it's a dynamic stretch for the back of the legs. And we're also gonna affect the right hip and the left hip as we come down. When we come down, we're just simply hinging at the hip. We keep the back straight because we always wanna protect the back, protect the spine from anything kind of uh, jarring or we don't want to break the back, okay? So inhale up, now exhale, come down to your right. I'll go to the left, so I'm on the same side as you. And you just move the torso across the body so you're pulling the back of the legs, nice stretch. Now when you can come up, you're gonna feel it in your right hip. And then when you exhale down, you're gonna feel it in your left hip. So we're going, and then you just stretch through the back of the legs. Now, when you come up, you feel it in your right hip. And when you exhale down, you feel it in your left hip. And then you stretch through the back of the legs and inhale up. Now, when you get to the top, we're going to reverse the direction. Now, exhale down the opposite way. So you feel it in your right hip. 
Stretching through the back of the legs. Now we feel it in our left hip as we're pulling up. Yeah, it's a nice stretch for the side there. And then exhale down for the side of the hip. We feel it in your right hip. Stretching through the back of the legs. As we come up, we're feeling it in our left hip. One more time around as we exhale on the downswing. Oh, it's a good stretch for the back of the legs. Yeah. And then inhale up. Hold it here and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. All right, now let's do a, a sustained stretch or what they call a static stretch for the back of the legs. So palms in front of the abdomen, feet are together or as close as you're comfortable. Then inhale, reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up. Now when you get to the top, roll them out and then exhale, reach out and then you kind of want to keep your head up just a little bit to keep the back straight and just lower the arms and let the weight of the upper body pull on the back of the legs. This is just a wonderful way to stretch those, the back of your legs. Okay. So I don't need, we don't need to talk too much about anatomy because I know it doesn't mean too much to most of you. But the thing is, the back of the legs, you understand and you feel that good stretch. Doesn't that feel great? Now let's add the breath through the nose. Let's inhale. Now exhale, just let yourself relax, but keep the back straight so we're not curving the back. So you'll notice you come down a little bit further. Again, inhale, big long inhale, and exhale a little bit more deeply into that stretch for the back of the legs. One more time, inhaling, big long inhale through the nose, and then exhale through the nose or the mouth and just relax into that stretch for the back of the leg. Now when we inhale, slowly come up and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. Now notice I'm constantly bringing your mind into the body because this is a mind-body class designed to bring your mind into the body. So you wanna be present with what you're doing. You get maximum benefit out of the stretches. Let's do one leg at a time now. Step forward with your right leg, hands in the hips, we'll inhale up. Now exhale, just hinge at the hip as you center your chest over that right leg and you don't come down any further, you hold it right there. The back is straight, it's not curved. It's not how low you go. You're just using the weight to stretch the back of the leg. We're gonna add the breath. We'll do three of them. So through the nose, we're inhaling, feel the body expand, and then exhale, just relax a little bit more deeply into that stretch for the back of the leg. Okay, again, through the nose, we're inhaling, big long inhale, and exhaling, just relax even more deeply into that stretch for the back of the leg. One more time, inhaling, big long inhale, and exhale, just relax into that stretch. Oh, it feels so good. Now, when you inhale, slowly come up and exhale, relax. And then just kick the legs out, shake the arms into the shoulders. All right, now let's do the other side the same way. So step forward with your left leg, hands on the hips. So inhale up and exhale down. Now, if you need to, you don't want to put your hands on the hips. You could also hold the leg if you chose. You can try each one and see what kind of makes uh, works for you best. I like to do the hips. It's a little bit more of a challenge to the balance, but some of you might prefer to hold on to the leg and that's okay, all right? Now let's add the breath. Through the nose, we're inhaling, body's expanding and exhaling. We're just relaxing into that stretch for the back of the leg. Can you feel the back of the leg? Again, inhale, big long inhale. And exhale, that should feel so good for the back of the leg. It should be a nice stretch. Don't overdo it, don't make it hurt. Again, inhale and exhale. Just relax into that stretch for the back of the leg. This also improves your balance. Inhale, come up and exhale, relax and kick the legs out. When, it says, when I say improve your balance, anything that challenges your balance is gonna help improve it. All right, now we can do a, uh, uh, I think we're done with the legs. Now, what I want to take you into is a balance of plate exercise. Now, balance of plate is very, it's, it, it's exactly what we do in the fourth and fifth forms. But uh, instead of, well, we only do two breasts and two circles, whereas we, in the forms, we actually do four breasts and four circles. Because every circle that we do is with the breath or every rotation that we do is with the breath. And notice that when we're inhaling, the body's rising. And then when we exhale, we're falling. In other words, we're bending the knees. So it's, it's a constant up and down motion with the knees as we do these exercises. And that, that kind of helps your body kind of uh, 
just nicely uh, uh, coordinate the rhythm of the movement and just uh, feel the exercise. You'll know what I mean when I'm talking. So let's step forward to your right foot and put both palms are out. Now you can take this left palm and put it behind you face up. Or if you prefer, and that's too difficult, you can put it on your hip for support, okay? And then extend the arm into a nice stretch, but keep the shoulder over the hip and the knees are bent. Now, to begin the circle, we inhale, straighten the knees. So you pull the palm in towards the chest. Now we're gonna circle this palm underneath the arm. So you have to lift the elbow and shoulder up and it's stretched through the side. You bend the wrist, circle the palm, point to the side, point the fingers to the side, face up. And then exhale, bend the knees and stretch and reach out. Now, when you inhale, we're going to make the second circle over the head. So inhale, we're starting to straighten the knees as we come over the head. So we're stretching through the abdomen. And then when we exhale, we bend the knees as we complete the rotation. Okay. Now we're going to return. Inhales, straighten the knees, bring the foot back, and then exhale, relax. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. So inhale, step forward, and exhale, settle in. Put both palms are out. Take the right hand behind you and just focusing on the left. Now again, you can do it face up or you can put it on the hip if you need to do that. I like to go face up. It's a little bit more of a challenge. And extend the arms straight, shoulders are over the hips, and we're into a deep squat. So now we inhale, straight the knees, pull the palm in towards the chest. Elbow and shoulder up, bend the wrist, circle the palm, the fingers to the side, pointing to the side. Then when we exhale, we sink and push to the side with the head up. We stretch through the body this way and the bicep gets stretched. Arm is twisted. Now, second one, inhale, we straighten the knees, come over the head, stretching through the side and then exhale, we bend the knees and come back down. Now to return, we inhale, straighten the knees, come in, bring the foot back slowly and exhale, relax. So let's try that again now. And we're gonna add a little bit more of a rotation in the hips as we do it this time. So some of you that have been with me, maybe you may have been wondering about that, I know. So step forward your right foot as we inhale and exhale, settle in, both palms are face up. Take the Left hand, put it behind you, extend the right arm and just sink for position. Now we're in position. So when you inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, bend the wrist, point to the side. Now when you exhale, I want you to put your hip to the left and push to the right. So you feel it in your hip. Now we're gonna gyrate the hip and rise at the same time. So when we inhale, we're circling the hip and we're starting to rise, straighten the knees slowly, all the way straight when we're over the head. And then when we exhale, we push the hip back over to the left and circle to the front and we crouch and then we just straighten up, okay? Let's try that again. So it's inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm, point to the side and exhale, push to the side and stretch. Then inhale, gyrate the hip and coming up over the head, and exhale, keep the gyration and crouch. Okay, try it again. So it's inhale and exhale, inhaling and exhale. <laughs> Let's do one more time. It's inhale, this is really good for preventing calcification, exhale of the joints. Inhale, gyrate the hip and exhale, returns. All right, so inhale, bring this foot back and exhale, relax. Now these gyrations are very subtle, so don't uh, think that you're not doing it right or anything. It just kind of automatically really happens. I'm probably talking more about it than I need to, but anyway, you get the idea. So let's go to the other side. We inhale and exhale, step out. And then put the other hand behind us, face up. Extend the arm and crouch. And then straighten the back so the shoulders are over the hips. Inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arm. Bend the wrist, point to the side. When you exhale, push the hip to the right, the arm goes to the left. Now when you inhale, we gyrate the hip as we're coming up over the head. The knees are straight, 
as we're exhaling, coming down, we're sinking back down into our crouch position and straightening the back. Again, inhale and exhale, stretch. Inhale, gyrate the hip and exhale, returns. <laughs> Let's try that again. So it's inhale, whatever you're doing is perfect. And exhale, push to the side. Inhale, as long as you're in the general area of this, you're doing just fine. And exhale, you just have to get into it. Let's try it again. So it's inhale and exhale, push to the side. Inhale, this is so relaxing for the mind to bring the mind into the body like this. And exhale, and that helps the body relax. So don't get stressed. Again, inhale and exhale, stretch. Inhale all the way up and exhale all the way down. <laughs> now let's stand up straight and bring the foot back. Inhale, relax, and exhale. Now just kind of kick the legs out, just relax, shimmy the shoulders and bobble the head. Now let's do both legs at the same time. So this is two circles, two breaths. We're just putting the right and left together at the same time. So let's take a half step to the right and then a half step to the left and bend the knees into a deep horse riding stance and let's extend the arms straight out in front of us, keep the shoulders over the hips. So now inhale, straighten the knees, pull the palms in towards the chest, elbows and shoulders up, bend the wrists so you can circle underneath the arms, pointing the fingers to the side. Now exhale, I know it's very awkward, but it's supposed to be a twist, it's good for you. And then we bend the knees. So inhale, crisscross over the head, straighten the knees, stretching through the abdomen and exhale, Bend the knees as we sink back down. Let's try that again. So it's inhale underneath the arms, straight the knees, and exhale, push to the side and stretch. Now we're twisting through the biceps. Now inhale, crisscross over the head, straightening the knees, stretch through the rib cage and the belly, and then exhale, come on down. It's a nice stretch for your abdomen. Again, inhale and exhale, inhaling. And exhale. <laughs> Let's try that again. So it's inhale and exhale, inhaling and exhale. Whoa. Then inhale. Let's bring the right foot in and exhale. Left foot, inhale and exhale. All right, now I invite you to sit down for a moment. I want you to relax and catch your breath. And uh, we're just going to take a about a three minute rest period right now. Have a sip of water. Water is very important. It's been uh, at least a half hour since you've had a drink of water. I know that. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Now when you sit, this is called active relaxation. So I want you to sit straight up and try not to, not try not to lean back in the chair, but sit away from the chair, and, but keep the shoulders over the hips. And the knees will be over the ankles and let the back of the palms rest behind the knees, face up or face down. I like to go face up. This way I'm just leaving myself a little bit more open. And look down towards the earth or close your eyes. And let's bring our mind's awareness to our breathing. So that when we're inhaling, we're aware of the body expanding. When we're exhaling, we're aware of the body relaxing. Now, don't force your breath. Just let your breathing be natural and comfortable. But follow the breath. Be present with the breath. And just simply be aware of the body as it reacts to the breath. And that's the beginning of bringing your mind into the body and helping relax the mind, which in turn helps relax the body. When the body's relaxed, you release the tightness and the tension throughout the body, which helps it better. Uh, it just removes the restrictions and the tightness so your body flows much better. So it's relaxation is key to improving the flow of energy throughout both your vascular system and your energetic system. You have two energies that flow through the body. The vascular system carries the blood, which carries the nutrients into the cells. The energetic system carries the electricity throughout your body. 
you are a self-generating electrical power plant <laughs> and you're sending signals all the time. Yes, there's chemicals that uh, create the spark and the spark shoots down through the pathways, the energy ways. Let's call it your chi, your chi energy. And this energy flows from one point to the other. And if there's a blockage along the way, you have to make a detour. So it's gonna take a little bit longer to get to where you need to go. So when we exercise like we're doing here, we're actually stretching and relaxing the body to open up those pathways. So you have a much freer flow of energy. It's pretty much as simple as that. So when your mind goes, that's where your energy is. So we're just bringing our mind into the body in the moment. So we're simply aware of the body expanding when we're inhaling. And then when we're aware as we're exhaling is the body completely relaxing, just letting go so you can feel the shoulders relax. You feel your arms relax on that exhale, your palms, your fingers. When you exhale, you can even feel your face relax. Just let everything go, just resting and just releasing tension. And here you are, you're connecting with your self, your wonderful positive self. You know, your, um, your body is here to serve your mind and, and uh, the mind in conjunction with the body is here to serve that spirit within you that real you, that same you that's been here all along. It's never left you. And this is why you're so absolutely perfect in every way. And you've always been perfect. Only the mind sometimes kind of tries to take control of that wonderful spirit and tries to tell you different things. And other people try to influence that energy in your mind and, and uh, for whatever gain that they are trying to accomplish. And the whole idea is just to connect with yourself first. And this is where you have absolutely everything you need is in this moment and nothing matters outside of this moment. And this is where you truly come from and this is who you truly are. You cannot be more perfect than you are in this moment. And this, it's very important every day to connect with this moment. And then whatever you do after this moment, it just happens the way it happens. But what really matters is this moment. And you can stay in this moment all day long. And every time you get outside of this moment, just bring your mind's awareness to the breath. So when you're inhaling, you're fully aware of the body expanding. When you exhale, you completely relax and let go. And you feel that tingling inside your body. Now let's open our eyes and clasp our hands in front of our abdomen. When we inhale, bring the clasped hands up to our chest, roll them forward. As we exhale, extend the arms into a nice stretch. Then inhale and exhale a little more deeply into that stretch. Now when we inhale, lift the palms up. When we exhale, look up and stretch. One more breath. Inhale, stretch a little bit more deeply and exhale, lower the palms down to your lap. Now, let's take your right hand to the left knee, and I want you to gently watch your spine. Don't twist too much, but just give yourself a little bit of a twist as you inhale and exhale into that twist. One more breath. Inhale, let's twist just a little more deeply. It's just gentle, not too intense, and exhale. You always want to protect your spine. Again, inhale and exhale into a twist. One more breath. Inhale, just a very gentle, mild twist, and then exhale. Come on back to the center. A little dab will do you. You remember that Brocaine commercial? <laughs> I do. Yeah, anyway, they still sell Brocaine, yes. A uh, little dab will do you, and it's really true. A little dab will do you, and that's why it's very important when you exercise just to Make sure you show up and do a little bit. The whole thing is really showing up and starting and just doing a little bit. You don't have to do this whole class. You do what, makes, what works for you, what you enjoy. Now, let's stand up. Let's do the form from beginning to end. There's eight forms that we're going to do. And uh, so just know when we do a form, everything, every movement is done in conjunction with your breath. When we're inhaling, we're initiating the movement. When we're exhaling, we're concluding it. When we're inhaling, we're straightening the knees or rising. When we're exhaling, we're sinking or bending the knees. All right, feet together. 
Here's the first form, which is a nice stretch. Palms in front of the abdomen, knees are soft, not locked. Now inhale, straighten the knees, reach out to the side and exhale into a stretch. Then roll the palms up as you twist your palms, you stretch through the forearms and slowly lift up, bring your palms together. Now when you exhale, it's a nice stretch for your back. Uh, you relax until the fingertips just come below the chin and bend the knees. Now when you inhale, we straighten the knees, let the elbow to shoulder height, lift your abdomen up, your lower back, and then exhale slowly, let the palms slow down. And see if you can feel air pass through your palms as they come down. That was the first form. <laughs> There's four moves in the breath. So the second form, we step off to the right. So we inhale, we step off to the right on the inhale. And then when we exhale, we settle in and bend both knees, palms to the inside of your body. This is a, a hip rotation. So when we inhale, we push out and around with a stiff arm. We straighten the knees on the, at the top of the inhale. And then when we exhale, completing the circle, we're bending the knees as we come back to the center. Now we're gonna bring this foot back as we inhale and exhale. Now that was your right side. Now we do the left for balance. This is the second form, inhale, and exhale, settle in, stiff arm, and crouch. Then inhale, we come around, we start rising. And then on the exhale, we complete the circle and fall as we can complete the rotation. Now, inhale, we rise as we inhale, bring the foot back, and exhale, we fall as we settle in. Third form is carry the ball to the right, to the left. And uh, all we do is just sway arms back and forth. But the key is the palms are uh, stay, uh, maintain the same distance apart from each other. And um, the inside palm always is face up and the outside palm is always face down. And we switch in the center of our body as we're going. Okay, but we're gonna extend our arms and do the same motion. So we inhale, we bring our ball over to the right and exhale, settle in. So most of your weight's on the right leg. Now, if you can't get your foot behind us, it just, just kind of push down into the hip and that's okay. All right, so don't, uh, don't, don't fall. <laughs> just make sure you're good and supported. Back is straight. Now, here we go with the breath. We inhale. Bring the ball over to your left, straighten the knees, and the bottom palms face up, outside palm is down. And then exhale, we return and sink back in. Bottom palm is face up, midline of your body. Now we uh, come back to standing position. So we inhale, we straighten the knees, lower the ball to the center, and exhale, balances on both feet again. Then inhale, we shift our, we're gonna do the other side now, the left side, so inhale, bring the ball over to the left, and exhale, we sink in, the knees are bent. All your weight is on this left hip. Then inhale, carry the ball to the right, we straighten the knee, and exhale, sink back into our left hip. Then inhale, lower the ball, straighten the knee, and exhale, sink back in, and we bend the knees and relax. That was the third form. Fourth form is like we did in our warm up. It's a balance of plate exercise. The reason we call it balance of plate, you want to envision always holding your palm face up at all times. And this way you'll rotate the wrist, the elbow, the shoulder, the hip, the knee, and the ankles correctly as we do this exercise. All right. And step off to the right. So shift your weight onto your left hip and all your, your we're, we're low here. So inhale, we straighten the knee and exhale, step off and bend the knee as we settle in. Shoulders are over the hips, we're not crouched over. Okay, and the arm is extended. So inhale, we straighten the knee, pull the palm in, uh, excuse me. Inhale, straighten the knee, bring the arm around behind us. Circle the arm all the way around and exhale, bend the knee and reach. These first two moves are new to the, to the beginners. So inhale underneath the arm, straighten the knee, point to the front and exhale, bend the knee to the front. Now the next two moves, the third and fourth form are just like we did in the warm up. You should all be used to that. So inhale, straighten the knee, come underneath the arm and then exhale, push your hip to the left. Arm goes to the right. 
Then inhale, we gyrate the hip and we start coming up, scraping the knees over the head and then exhale as we're completing the circle, we come back down. Now we're gonna return the foot back. So inhale, we straighten the knees, standing on one leg and exhale, bend the knees as we sink back in. That's the right side. Now let's do the left side. This is the fourth form still. Inhale, straighten the knees and exhale, bend the knees and settle in. Now inhale, we bring the palm around behind, straighten the knees, circle the palm all the way around behind us and exhale, bend the knees and reach behind us. Then inhale, come underneath the arms, straighten the knees, point the fingers to the front. As we exhale, we bend the knees and extend the arms straight out to the front. Okay. The third form is just like we did in the warm up. Inhale underneath the arms, straighten the knees. Exhale, hip goes to the right. We extend the arm to the left. Knees are bent. Then inhale for number four is over the head. We straighten the knees. And exhale as we complete the gyration of the hip, we come back down. Now we turn, so we straighten this knee on the left side, on the right side, and then exhale, relax. The fifth form is just both feet together at the same time. So we start with taking a half step to the right. So you shift your weight onto your left hip. So it's inhale. Slowly and exhale, settle in with the palm face up, lean over to the right, then inhale, straighten the knee. So you're weightless on the left foot and then exhale, step out and settle in to a deep horse riding stance. Shoulders are over the hips. Now we begin. So the first one is we inhale, we straighten the knees, open the chest, circle the arms and exhale, push behind us. This is just a like we did in the individual sides, the right and left side, they're just together at the same time. Now, when you inhale, we straighten the knees, come underneath the arms, and then exhale, push to the front. Now, that was the first and second form. Third and fourth are just like we did in the warm up. Inhale, straighten the knees, come underneath the arms, and exhale, bend the knees as we push behind us. Then over the head, fourth form. Inhale over the head, straighten the knees, stretch through the abdomen, and then exhale, Bend the knees as we return. Now we bring the feet back, half step from the right. Inhale, shift your weight onto your left, straighten the knee, and exhale. Settle in and bend the knees, sink over to the right. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bring the foot back, and then bend the knee and relax. The sixth form is called creating a brighter world. And this is your homework assignment to do this 100 times every day. Just push the belly out and tuck the belly in. You don't have to do it formal like we're doing it in this uh, exercise, but just for the ma massage of all your internal organs, it also helps firm and tone your abdominal muscles, and it also improves your overall circulation, which is great for your immune system. So we inhale, push the belly out and down. Put the thumbs on the belly button. When we exhale, tuck the belly in and make a triangle here. So when you inhale, push the belly out, straighten the knees, and the exhale, bend the knees. And that completes the sixth form. The seventh form is called dragon looks up at the sky. So when you inhale, we keep the knees, we, we straighten the knees as we inhale, the palms float up to eye height, pinch the first three fingers, flay the other two. Now, when we exhale, bend the knees and tuck the knuckles to your kidneys, your lower back. So now when you inhale, straighten the knees and drag the knuckles up your rib cage to kind of briefly massage the muscles that wrap your ribs. And then the back of the fingers are underneath your arms and then exhale, bend the knees as you relax into this stretch. Then we continue as you inhale, straighten the knees, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift the chin up high. This is where the dragon looks up to the sky, stretching through the abdomen, and then exhale, just relax and bend the knees. Okay. Eighth and final form is called raising the power. So when you inhale, we straighten the knees, let the palms float up, drag the wrist to the shoulders. As we exhale, the palms float down as you soften the knees. Did you feel the air coming down as we went down through your palms? Then to conclude, we inhale, straighten the knees, palms to prayer posture. 
As we exhale, we're gonna to bow to stretch the back of our legs and acknowledge this wonderful energy that's inside of us all around us and then hold for one more breath. Inhaling through the nose, and exhaling, just relaxing a little bit more deeply into that stretch for the back of the legs. Now, when we inhale, slowly bring it up. And as we exhale, let the palms float down, soften the knees, and just look down to the ground and bring your mind right into the body here. Okay, how are we doing for time? We're doing pretty good. Now, I want to take us into the form again. We're going to do it one more time, but we're going to flow from uh, form to form pretty quickly. We're going to go with the flow of the breath. So a lot less talk from me. It's going to be more breathing. I've done the explanation already, so you're going to kind of get the feel for it. And I'll just be your model for the most part. Just follow along. And whatever you do, if you don't understand something, just wing your way through it. And that's all. It's okay. Whatever you do is perfect. All right. Eventually, you'll start grasping the form as you do this over and over. All right. Now, feet are together. All right. Shoulders are back and down. Knees are soft, not locked. Palms in front of the abdomen. Let's begin. Inhale. Exhale. Stretch. Inhale. Palms together. And exhale. Bend the knees. Inhale. Straighten the knees and stretch. And then exhale. Let the palms float down. Second form, step to the right. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee, palm to the inside. Inhale, gyrate the hip, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Other side, inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, circle and straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Third form, carry the ball to the right. We inhale, and exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Inhale, straighten the knee as we return, and exhale, bend the knee to relax. Inhale, straighten the knee as we carry the other side, and exhale, sink into your hip. Inhale, straighten the knee, and then exhale, bend the knee as you sink back into your hip again. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, relax. Fourth form, inhale to the right, and exhale, balance the plate exercise, settle in, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the knees as we come behind us, circle the arm, and exhale, bend the knees as push behind you. Then inhale, straighten the knees underneath the arm, and then exhale, bend the knees to push to the front. Inhale, straighten the knees, circle the arm, and then exhale, bend the knees and stretch. Inhale, stretch over the head, and then exhale, bend the knees to return. Then to bring the foot back, we inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee. Other side, inhale, and exhale. Sink in, inhale, straighten the knee, circle the arm, and exhale, bend the knee and push behind you, stretch. Inhale, underneath the arm, straighten the knee, and exhale, push to the front. Inhale, underneath the arm, and exhale, push to the side. Inhale, over the head, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, if your knees are getting sore, you don't have to do too much bending, okay? Watch your knees, don't antagonize them. Okay, uh, fifth form, half step to the right. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, bend the knee and settle in. Left side, inhale, straighten the knee, and then exhale, bend the knee and sink in. Inhale, straighten the knee, open the chest, and exhale, bend the knee and push behind us. Inhale, underneath the arm, and then exhale, bend the knees to the front. Inhale, underneath the arm, and exhale, push to the side. Inhale, crisscross, and exhale, return. Then inhale, half step from the right. Straighten the knee, and exhale from the left. Inhale, straighten the knee, and exhale, crouch. Sixth form, inhale, straighten the knee, thumbs on the belly button, exhale, bend the knees and crouch. Inhale, push the belly out and down, and exhale, tuck the belly in. 
Seventh form, inhale, straighten the knees, pinch the first three. Exhale, bend the knees and put the knuckles to your kidneys. Inhale, straighten the knees. And then exhale, bend the knees and relax. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Bracken looks up to the sky, stretch the breastplate. And then exhale, let everything relax, bend the knees. Eighth and final form is inhale, grab the energy of the earth and through your palms, pull it into your body. As you exhale, push it into your lower abdomen as you bend the knees. Then to conclude, we inhale, straighten the knees, palms to prayer posture. As we exhale, we bow to acknowledge this wonderful energy that's inside of us and all around us. One more breath. Inhaling and exhaling a little bit more deeply for that stretch in the back of the legs. Now when we inhale, bring it up. And as we exhale, soften the knees and look down to the earth. Okay. Good job, everybody. And I, 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 was, uh, I think you did a wonderful job. Normally I conclude with a body tapping, but we're kind of running out of time. So we're gonna eliminate that and that will be your homework assignment. Just tap your whole body down a little bit later and just tap all the way down from the head of the toes, your arms, your face, everything gets tapped out. Okay, no, you wanna do the tapping? Yes, okay, let's do the tapping then. <laughs> all right, now take your glasses off and let's tap the top of our head. Crown, come behind the head, come down, behind the ears, on top of the ears, all around the temples, the temples, and do your ears while you're at it, and then take and pinch your ears, pinch your ears, kind of bring some, just kind of get them moving, give them some love, <laughs> yeah, all right, come back to the temples, and then up to the forehead, all around the forehead, do the eyebrows, outside corners of the eyes, come down below the eyes, on top of the eye sockets, come straight down below the nose, and the upper level of the gum lines, come up to the back teeth, and then back down, jump down to the lower level, up to the back teeth, and then back down again, all around the chin, uh, then underneath the jaw, <laughs> <laughs> on the bone, yeah, come up behind the jaw. Now there's some soft tissue below the ears, tap right in there. Now I think you can unmute yourself if you want to follow me. And so we're gonna do scrunchy face and open face. We're gonna do three of these. So I want you to make a nice tight fist and just scrunch it up really, really good, okay? All right, and uh, on the count of three, we're gonna do open face and you can make a sound and stick your tongue out. It's a great way to relieve stagnant energy and just get a good stretch through the, through the mouth and the face of the tongue. One, two, three, yeah. Yeah. Okay, again, give it a good stretch, really tighten up. Oh, okay, one, two, three, yeah. Yeah. Good job, one more time, give it a good squinch. Oh, squint, no, squint the eyes, yeah. yeah, give it a good, Oh, you're really tight. One, two, three. Ah. Okay, let's relax the arms and just uh, bring your mind into the body for a minute. Feel that face. Now let's extend the right arm out. Drop the head down and take the left hand and start tapping the high where the shoulder connects to the neck. Top the shoulder, top of the forearm. Start coming down to the wrist, top of the thumb, find the fist. Pinky, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm to the elbow, tricep, armpit, armpit, okay, up the part of the chest. Now let's do the other side. Head down, on top of the shoulder, bicep, uh, top of the forearm, start coming down to the wrist, top of thumb, front of the fist, pinky, lower wrist, start coming up the forearm to the tricep, armpit, armpit, okay, upper part of the chest. Now, here's another opportunity to get rid of any stress or stagnant energy that's left in you and just relax enough to get yourself into a state of laughter. So follow me. When I go ha, you go ha. If I go ha ha, you go ha ha. Think of this as a nice primer. Ready? Ha. Ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ho. Ho. Ho ho. Ho ho. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! ho. He! 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I want you to uh, straighten your legs and lean forward, hinging at the hips and tap your low kidneys, your lower back. And now do the tailbone, tailbone, buttocks, buttocks. Come on down the back of the legs. Come up the insides. Hips, hips, come on down the outside. Come up the front of the legs, all around the knees. Hang out at the knees, knees. Come up your thighs. Abdomen, 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 abdomen. Now rub your abdomen. Just give it some loving. And now let's sweep down through the whole body. Put your hands in your shoulders. Sweep all the way down to the toes. And just say, it feels so good. Ready? It feels so good. Oh, let's do that again. Ready? It feels yes. so good. All right, this third time, let's say in Korean, I shawana da. Ready? I shawana uh, Good job, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Now join me for a little chat if you have any questions. Riley, I'll turn it over to you.